Hello everyone and welcome to a new sex to review. Today's product is the Best Five hands-free belt design masturbation vibrator from Best Five. It says it's a hands-free masturbation vibrator. What this does, this straps to your dick. I mean, it's pretty obvious that's what it's for. It even like it's kind of shaped like a dick. And the belt is supposed to hold it to your dick and your the tip of your dick goes in this little cap and there is, you can see how thick this is. There's a vibrator built into this part of the toy and you can feel it mostly around this area and then it, it feels like let me pull this you could there's like a bump i don't know if you can see that there's a little bump right there you can feel it in that little bump and then you can feel it kind of around here with these ridges and that's about all it does so i mean i'll just i'll demonstrate it real quick we'll talk about the belt in a minute so here here's the power button it's kind of hard to see. This is where you stab the USB power thing. So here's the USB power thing. It looks like a, like a headphone jack. And the reason why is this toy is designed to be waterproof. So you have to stab through the silicone with the charger. Okay, and you can see it. the, the light starts to flash. That means it's charging, okay? So that's how you charge it. It's USB powered. All right, so you hold down the button to turn the light on, and then you click click it to cycle through the different. So we have low, medium, high, and then you, of course you have patterns. So you know, you know, like here, let's let's just. You can see it. It's uh, you know, it's it's vibrating. I don't know what you were expecting. You got all the different, you know, different patterns and whatnot. Anyway, let me let me let me put it on its highest setting, and then we'll see how this goes. Low, medium, high. All right. So this is the highest setting. There it goes. I mean, it's again. You you feel it. You feel it kind of evenly across the ridge, and then you feel it on this little nub. Oh, I clicked it. Anyway. Hold on, let me turn this off. Come on, turn off. Click, cut. There we go, Jesus. All right, so uh, the problem with this design, uh, number one, what all this is effectively doing, it's holding a vibrator on the underside of your dick. That's all it does. And because this is this is a, an open design toy, when you come, there's nowhere for your come to go other than out this little opening. So you'll come in it, and you know, assuming you haven't, you know, unless you had, I don't know, surgery, when you get an erection, your penis is gonna stick up. So this is gonna be on your dick like this, you're gonna come in it, and then the cum is gonna drip out of the toy and get everywhere. So that's, that's not good, unless you point your penis down, and then you just gotta hope that this little pocket uh, can hold all your cum and the tip of your dick without overflowing and getting cum everywhere. I don't like these open design toys for this reason. As far as the belt goes, this belt is a pain in the ass to get on and it comes off fairly easily because these little pegs are silicone. The whole thing is silicone. The pegs are silicone, so they're hard to get on because you have to kind of stretch the hole to get the peg onto it. But then because the peg is silicone, if you put too much pressure on the belt, the belt will just come apart. So in concept, this works, but it doesn't really work because they used silicone pegs, which are in themselves stretchy and squishy. They should have used like rivets with metal pegs or I don't know, not used a belt at all. Like, and the thing is, this material still stretches. So what's the point of a belt? Like, you know, if you have a leather belt, the reason why you use a belt is because leather isn't stretchy. If you have a stretchy material, you don't need the you don't need a belt because you, you'll tighten it, but then it's stretchy. So what's the point of tightening it if it can just be stretched? You know, like it just if this was if this was leather, instead of making this out of silicone, if they made this out of leather, this would make sense. But who's going to use a leather sex toy? I mean, you just ruin it from the water and the moisture and your cum and stuff. So I don't know if they were trying to copy something like some kind of a, a chastity cage or something. 
it's it's an interesting design, but I don't know. Why is there an anchor? There's like an anchor on the front of the why? Why is there an anchor? What is the anchor for? What does it mean? What's going on here? All right. So, how did it feel? It felt okay. But let me let me compare to show you why this toy doesn't work. Let's compare this to other toys which do the same thing but better in every way. So, first up, this is an old toy I've had for years, which is one of my go-tos. It has two powerful bolt vibrators that go horizontally across your dick here and here, and your penis goes in this little pocket. So only this part of the toy is for your penis, and it has a very stretchy pocket, and this part is all vibrator. So let me turn it on to show how this works. All right, so here's... First of all, look, this thing is, is moving. You can actually see the lip. You can see the lip quivering from the vibrations. This is ridiculously more powerful than this. The vibrator in this, like, you can you can feel it on your on the underside of your dick when you turn it on. But I mean this thing, just holding it in my hand is making my fingers numb. That's how powerful the vibrators are. And there's two of them. And they, they go horizontally. There's one right here at the lip, and then there's one further in. This one effectively has one vibrator, and it kind of just you feel it all along this but it's not that good. So, and the other thing is, let me turn this off. The other thing is, is that uh, this toy is closed. So you put this on your dick, you know, you, you turn it on, you're, it's vibrating, it's making you come. You can come in it and then it's not gonna drip everywhere. You can come in it, take your dick out, take this into the bathroom, just rinse it out and dump it like a cup, easy to clean. You don't have to worry, like this thing, it's going to drip out anywhere. Now. This isn't going to stick to your dick, it does, but the thing is, is your dick is kind of wedged into this triangle space to, o over the vibrators. So here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's take two fingers. I'll put this in here. All right, so it's wedged in. Look, I'm now I'm I'm not doing anything to keep my fingers in there. It's just that they're wedged in. They're wedged in. So now if I shake my finger, it comes off. But just the act of it being wedged into this pocket kept it on. Let me turn the vibrations on. So I'll turn the vibrations on. And it, it comes off fairly easily, but my, my point is, is that this thing will come off too, because again, this, this belt strap is made out of silicone. So it will stretch and the belt will come apart when you try to hold it on. So it's not even holding on correctly. So what if you want something like this? You want a hands-free toy that can strap onto your dick uh, and you could leave it on there and it will massage the undercarriage, if you will, of your penis and balls. Well, we have a toy that does that better than this. So this is a, this is a, I don't know what you call this. It's a penis accentuator. It has a, a, a clitoral vibrator. So you put, you put your dick through here. You put the tip of your dick through this ring. This adds a, a G-spot thing. So this this goes, you know, your dick goes through this. This is where her G-spot is in her pussy. So as you're fucking her pussy, this is vibrating on her G-spot and this is vibrating on her clit. And this is the this is the magic. This kind of bola tie system where you have a bead and you just slide the bead and it tightens it. This works so much better than this belt strappy thing. This this actually, you can tighten this and it will stay put. And, you know, if you're just using this for yourself, you're not using this with a lady friend, you're not trying to hit her G-spot or her clit or anything, all you gotta do is uh, rotate this underneath. So normally, you wear this kind of a toy like this. You know, you put your penis through it, you're fucking her pussy, this is, this is hitting her G-spot, this is hitting her clit, good times are had by all. But what if you want it to vibrate the undercarriage of your penis? You just rotate it around. You rotate it around, and then this is going to massage kind of the area of the base of your dick, and because this is holding on, this is going to hold it, and you're gonna feel vibrations along the base of your dick. So here's the question, which one felt better? This one did, why? It's really simple. So this vibrator, you feel it kind of all through here. This one you feel at the base of your dick. You feel it right here. Like, let me show what I'm talking about. Let me turn it on. 
All right, you feel it right here. So even though you're not using the, the clit massager or the G-spot thing, you can feel the, the vibrator right there. So right there at the base of your penis, right there where it counts is where the vibrator is hitting you. And you can still feel it along this, this shaft that has this little G-spot nub. You can feel the vibrations down the shaft. And the, vibra like, the vibrations are more powerful in this than this. Let's do a side by side. Okay, let me turn it on. Like you can just see how how energetic this uh, this vibrator is compared to this other one. And these are at their max settings. I mean, this thing is this thing is energetic. All right. So my point is. My point is, my friend. Okay. I don't know why the button is so temperamental. Just another thing. Okay, so if you wanted a hoid like this, you can strap to your dick, hands-free, to vibrate your undercarriage. You could use a toy like this and just rotate it down. This will vibrate the base of your penis, and then this will carry those vibrations down your shaft. And this felt better than this. I did it side by side. I swapped between them to see if they felt comparable and this one felt better than this and of course the upside to this is you know you can always turn this around and use this with a woman to hit her g-spot and her clit while you're having sex with her you can't do anything with this this can this isn't a toy that can be used as with a couple this is something you, you basically put in your pants to feel the vibrations you know in your underwear but it's not that powerful and it comes off and also like if your penis is soft i don't even know how this is even going to go on it's, it's weird so let's say you have a like a semi chub your dick isn't going to work with this but it'll work with this because even if your dick is floppy you can put this at the base of your dick you know tighten the bead and it'll stay put but if your penis is a little soft your dick's going to come out of this little belt so now, if you wanted like an actual hands-free toy or something like that, I'd recommend something like this because you can come in it without getting it everywhere. Now the downside of this is obviously if you come, it's going to go everywhere, but it's also going to go everywhere with this too. So that's why I compare these side by side because these, these both these toys kind of serve a similar function, but this one's better designed and can do more things. And I think they're about the same price too. And if you want a toy just to put your dick in that will put vibrations on your cock, I would get a toy like this. Or, there's this other toy. This is from Leeton. This is a, a pocket pussy, but it has a stupid powerful vibrator. Let me turn it up. So if you just want to, if you want like a powerful male vibrating toy, you can get this. I mean, you can see the little labias vibrating from the, from the toy. You, you can get a toy like this and you can actually like have sex with it and feel the, like my hand is going numb just holding this toy. Like let, let's look how, look at this, hold on. It is, it is just going. Anyway, so anyway, so we have you have some competition in this space. If you're looking for a male vibrator, you would go, you could go with this. If you want like a vibrating pocket pussy experience, I highly recommend this toy. If you want a, a toy that you can put in your underwear and just let it you know vibrate you off, uh, this one I recommend over this. The vibrators are much more powerful and this will actually catch your cum, whereas this one won't catch your cum. But if you just want something you can passively wear that'll just vibrate your under your balls and stuff, I would get this. Because with this, this actually, this bolo system actually hugs, you know, your shaft better. And it also, like, your penis won't slide out of it if you get, like, a, if you get soft. This will actually hug on your dick. And you'll feel the vibrations at the base of your penis, whereas you feel the vibrations kind of in the middle. So if your dick is around this area, you're barely gonna feel it. You have to kind of be really in the toy to feel the vibrations. Whereas this one, it has a much more powerful motor, which I don't get, like, this toy is smaller. I don't know why this one has a more powerful motor, but it, it does. So you feel this at the base of your dick, you can feel it down your shaft, it hugs your dick easier and better with this bead system. 
So this is a toy I'd recommend. If you're, if you're looking for a toy like this, get this. If you want a toy that does more than this, I would get this, or I would get this. But I, I don't, I can't think of anyone I'd recommend this toy to, because I think if you're in the market for a toy like this, you're better off getting something else. Uh, this toy, the, the vibrator wasn't very powerful. It was okay, but it wasn't, all these toys, all three of the toys I've shown you have more powerful vibrator motors than this one. The belt system is, uh, is stupid because the material is too stretchy, defeating the purpose of a belt system. Like, what's the point of having a stretchy belt? And then these little pegs come out too easily because they're also made of silicone. So you put just a little bit of pressure on it and the belt will open up. So I don't recommend this toy at all. Um, if you're in the, again, if you're in the market, get something like this, get something like this, get something like this. There's plenty of toys in the market to fill the need you might have that you might think would be served by a toy like this, but isn't. So that's all I have to say. Now here's the thing. Uh, you can get some of these toys, you can get this toy at Best Buy. So normally, I know I'm supposed to be reviewing this toy. I'm gonna put a link to this toy too. If you're looking for a toy like this, you should actually get this. Uh, and they're both sold at Best Buy, and the coupon code I'm including with this video works for both toys. So this toy is $28.80, which is, I mean, it's okay. I, I don't think it's worth that kind of money. Uh, this one's a little bit more expensive, but it's better in every single way imaginable. Like, it has an actual vagina with texture. The, the motor's much more powerful. This is going to give you a much better experience than this. So just get this. And they're both sold on the same website, so it doesn't really matter to them. You know, you're buying their product. Uh, but I do have a 20% off coupon code. You can use it for this if you want, but I would recommend using it for this. Um, and they probably, they might have, I don't know. I don't think I got these toys at Best Vibe, but they might have similar toys on their website. You could check it out and see if, uh, if they have anything. But they, I know they have this, and this is probably the best. The, the motor here in this toy is stupid powerful. I already reviewed this toy um, in June. You can go back and watch the review if you want me to look at this toy in depth. But just as an aside, if you're gonna think about getting this toy, I'd get this toy instead. And the coupon code works for both. So, you know, the sponsor will still be happy as long as they're, they're selling something, whether or not it's this toy or this toy. Anyway. Thank you, Best Five, for sending me this toy. Use the coupon code to save 20% on all the products on their website. Thank you for watching. This is Turd Flingy Monkey, and I'll see you next time.